G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die where the quest continues in Undead Legacy. I maybe shouldn't say the quest because I'm searching for so many things at this point, not even I can keep track of it, although in fairness if there was three things I'd lose track of two of them. But one thing I have been losing track of is I haven't been doing the correct thing and popping coffees every time the sun comes up. It may not be the balcony for the frothies, but it's good enough so g'day sunshine, how are ya? Take off your pants and your jacket and we're gonna quickly slurp up some caffeine. Gotta start your day right, gotta start your day right, otherwise you just have bad omens everywhere. Chuck all my clothes back on so I don't offend any of my neighbors. Nice. Now that I've got that out of the way, today is the day I want to try and get up to the wasteland again. There's lots of things up there for me, not uh, specifically as well, that's here for fetch and clear, but I also have Eliania's treasure map to go and find. Um, I haven't like read it yet, but if I read it up there, it'll be up there. Go and find what I can get, but I want to find Bob's balls to get myself some super corn. If I get super corn, I get awesome sauce. I get awesome sauce, I can make bulk cash. If I make bulk cash, I can get myself a chopper. And that is my end game. We're edging ever closer. Edging's never fun unless you get the payoff. I'm really hoping I get the payoff. But without much further ado, I did promise this yesterday and have been promising for a while. I now have, almost, I now have the gubs that I need to upgrade my valve. Grab all of you. Thank you very much. I got them crafted up last night. I got all the acid I needed out of various batteries. So you're now ready to go to CF. 95% chance. Doesn't make me feel confident at all. Upgrade. Ah, it actually worked. It actually worked. Now it has two mod slots in it, plus some extra condition as well. Lovely doubly. How far away am I from upgrading you again? Need some rebars, more nuts and bolts. That's fine. That's easy. I kind of have everything else there going for me. That's kind of lovely, but got to need to break down shitloads of cars again and get some more spicy fluids. It's going to take some doing. So I had a bit of a scan of the map uh, last night while I was waiting for the sun to come up, and I checked all of like all of the farms up in the wasteland, all the things that look like nice and green and dense where all the corn's growing, and none of these look like Bob's boars. I'd recognize like the footprint of the POI anywhere. At least I'd like to think I would, unless it's drastically changed in the last five minutes. But none of these look like Bobby's. So I think my best option, my only option, is to maybe head out to like this city out here, follow this highway this way through the gully where those highways lead to as well. Hopefully find a Bobby's out there somewhere and then do the roundabout way and come up into the wasteland again. I want the wasteland Bobby's for the better, um, the better loot, but if I can't have it, I can't have it. There's no use crying about it too long. So that's where I'll end up at some point. But before I can do that, I need to go and find that super corn. I still have so much crafting to do as well. Just making the concrete resources is taking so much of my life. I'm out of cement. I'm out of stone powder. Got more of that cracking away though. It just takes a long time. It really does. But now that I have all of you, we go to the artisan table. What? How many even can I make of that? 93. That's <laughs> not many. That's not many. In my head, I've kind of budgeted for like maybe 300, 350-ish concrete blocks will get me through. So to make one is five. So much, so much. Building materials in this is so hard to get. But whatever, I can't rest on that for too long. I'll just make myself miserable. Uh, you can go into this one. In you go. What do I need to take with me? I've got a fair amount of ammo. I'll take some spares with me though, just in case. Maybe some repair kits too, because that's probably just good cricket. Uh, Horde Knight Gub, sort by name. I'll take... That's all the... Holy shit. That's all the 556s five I have? That's all of it? Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I have some gunpowder and I have some bullet tips and things. I was saving this for what I had level 40 so that I could make myself some armor penetrating ones. But I don't have the ammo, I'll never get there in the first place. I'm also weirdly very low on shotgun rounds, which is kind of interesting. I will confess there is a pretty significant temptation to take the maintenance station with me. Because, like, then I can repair... Actually, that's a really good idea. What's it doing for me right here, right now? Absolutely bleeding nothing. So I'll take you, because I'm going to take the van with me out to the wasteland. So I can bring the workstation with me. I can bring... Uh, what we're going to need? I'll take, like, some plates, I suppose. Not all of those. I only need a few. Uh, some iron, just to repair those. And some titanium plates as well. I think that's what all of you use to repair yourselves with. I'm pretty sure, at least. Uh, actually, the Valky does take 
Where are you? Just like scrap titanium. Although it's in the way so I can get more of that. That's nice and easy. Mm, I think that's all I should take with me. Just so I can do repairs when I get there. Which means I can save these for later. I am uh, acutely aware, by the way. That's my ballistics table. Got some ammo for me. Yes, you do. That I could just make myself a new maintenance station and take that out there instead and leave this one back at home. But if you cast your imaginations back to when I first made the tier 3 maintenance station, it was a wrestle. It was a real conundrum for me to get all the things I needed for it. So make it a new one, not really an option. Where the shit have I left all of my shotgun rounds? Is this all the shotgun rounds I have in the world? It better believe not be. My Vindicator is the best gun I have. I mean, the Fugly Famous is pretty fucking sick, but the Vindicator ain't too shabby either. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay, that is rather upsetting. And not at all what I wanted. I'll take you. I'll take you. In fact, you can all come with me. You're going to weigh me down to shit else, but that's fine. Let's go and sell all of this. <laughs> Someone did tell me once upon a time not to repair everything before I sell it, but I think I tried that and it only gave me a couple of hundred dollar reduced difference. In fact, you know what? I've got you here. I've got you on me. Let's just have a little squeeze at you. See if you're worthwhile. But from memory, I didn't think it was. So, like, ah, uh, you. 430. If I go to repair using steel plating, because you're expensive. So, 430. Repair. Ah, oh, shit. It is worthwhile. Damn it, I hate it when the comments are so right. Fine, I'll repair everything. You win. Deeds is going to carry all of my important stuff. Love it, DD. Okay, I think I'm good to rock and roll. My sellables box is empty. All of like the tools and things have now been repaired. You're welcome. Please stop yelling at me so I can go and sell them. Uh, probably don't need buggy engines. Actually, interestingly, so I'm going to sell like truck engines and stuff because I can't be asked. but you can see like the difference in uh, their quality, their condition. The price for them doesn't change, so no use repairing those. I don't need three buggy engines. That one can get sold. That one can get sold. That's my best one. I'll keep you. Don't need all the car... Ooh. Do I need all the car engines in the world? I might want to expand my garage at some point. I might keep those on me. Plus, it's only worth like 300 bucks. Um, you know, it was like 200 was selling you anyway. Is there anything else in here I need to sell? Not gonna sell my aviation engine. Absolutely bloody not. I don't think so. I think everything here is kind of valuable to me. You're only worth $69 reduce. Nice, but I'll keep you guys need to craft something out of you later on. No, I think we're good. I think that's everything. I'm completely knackified. Alright, hold your horses. You just hold on to these for me. Is that gonna be enough? Just enough to move. I can chuck it in the van and we're good. I'm gonna jump into 240 and just take it upstairs so I don't have to waddle my way all the way up a slight incline. Not my idea of a good time at any point in my life. Swing around like this and just get you right next to the van. I'm sad leaving my 240 at home. It's been by my side through all the other things, but in this instance, it does need to stay back here. Actually, these are all the things I wanna sell. These are all the things I'm gonna go sell stuff. Okay, instead, I am gonna chuck it at the 240. Open you up, you can hold on to all of that. Nice, while I am here though, I will quickly refill you and then, ooh, not refill you again. You got 60 liters in ya, you love to see. Was that both of them then? It was, okay, unlock both of you, chuck you to that one. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go, chuck a couple of these back upstairs again. You're still holding all like my normal stuff, aren't you? Except you, this is all the stuff I want to take with me to the places. So I'm going to touch that stuff. You can go into this one, so I can go and sell you in a jiffy. Nice. Okay, I think I have everything I need. I wasn't going to take it this time, but I suppose I can use it now and just see if I can find myself some more super corn later. Do I have any more, like, medication or stuff in here? No, most would have been down in my, uh, in my horde night box. That's all fine. That's all good. Do I have any food left over I can take with me? Ooh. Learning list, so I can chuck that downstairs. Fire wooden things, you go in and quickly whip up some more bacon and egos for me. Thank you very much. Just make sure the base is in spick and span condition before I leave it behind. Don't want to come back here and be riddled with problems. Uh, again, grab those bacon and eggs, cheese big ears, and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, nice. Uh, the uh, learning elixir that I just put away. Selling stuff is actually worth like a fair bit of experience, and I have... I have like a surplus of them, so I'll grab one of you, take you with me. We're all good. I could and should probably sell you. I mean, you use 9mm ammo, which I don't have any use for right now. You're worth only 500 bucks. I think you're worth more to me as like a last resort weapon rather than well, 500 bucks, I suppose. So that's all good. And gravy. No, I think, I think we're golden. I think we're golden. 
Mm, I'll take you with me just in case and let's get rocking and rolling down to here over to this one because what I want to do before I go out and sell all my stuff I would like to go and grab the treasure map down to the south down there Sarah's buried that treasure a long time ago and I've been neglecting it but neglecting it no more Sarah I'm coming for your gubbins it's that day. I'm really hoping that old mate says hasn't made like a lot of the other characters have over the journey and buried her treasure up in the cliffs up there. Can you pick up the treasure chest for me there, Deeds? Like, I know you've got all sorts of like shiny bits all over you, but if you just want to tell me where the box of gubbins is, I'd be super duper appreciative. Oh, that's a stunt. Sorry. Breaking my card. I know I can repair you for basically free now. Where was it? Where was it? It was in the other freaking direction, Josh. You've got a compass. Maybe use one of your four eyes to look at it at some point and figure out which friggin' direction you're going. How? How are you so bad? I've marked it with a quick waypoint. And by the looks of things, it's actually not even... Oh, sorry. didn't go bonk. It's not even... A <laughs> I said sorry and then turned to make sure I cluttered him. Probably not quite an apology if you do it deliberately. But uh, the waypoint's actually out in the pine forest and not in the desert at all, which is uh, mildly upsetting, but... A treasure chest is a treasure chest is a treasure chest. That does mean I'm not going to bother popping a, um, a loot and candy for it, though, because it's already kind of dog shit, so I'm not going to waste a loot and candy on it soon. Through we go, up into the trees and try not to hit any more stumps. Damn it. I've already lost, like, 200... Oh, sorry, Dingo. That one actually was an accident, I promise you. Although there's enough of a chain of events that you can probably argue otherwise. But, uh, yeah, my, uh, my 240 is getting damaged. We can repair it. Doesn't mean I can go clattering into stuff all willy-nilly, though. You know what? I'm just going to park it here. I'll park it up here on the hillside. G'day, Deeds. Keep an eye out for vultures for me, please, as the fog rolls in. Not going to bother trying to drive all the way up the hill. It's 100 meters. Real Josh can't run that far. Fake like, uh, RPG playing Josh can, though. Oh, God. Thank goodness I didn't take my 240 up here. If I bin my 240 into that and couldn't get back out again because it's so freaking heavy, I'd have been spitting so much hot chips. Well, this is the joint, so let's see what Sarah's got for me to start digging and hoping for the best. Yes, once we get into the subsoil, like not the grassy stuff on the top, I can one hit it, which makes life so much easier. Just try to like knock out as many blocks as possible so the circle will shrink. There we go. Nope, that's stone. The worst thing about trying to dig on a freaking hillside, every four feet is some sort of pebble you can't get through. I'm following the circle in. It looks like it's getting relatively small, so I shouldn't be too far away from the good stuff. Anywhere, anywhere here at all. Should be another little circle decrease in a moment if I can actually hit the right block. There we go. Getting closer, getting closer. Surely can't be too far away. Or am I too far underneath it? I've done that before and that was embarrassing. Are you, are you here? Look how small you are now, surely. Surely. And are you actually anywhere? Look, I'm right next to the surface. I'm not really that deep. Where the shit is this thing? There you are, for goodness sake. Look how far I've dug to get all the way out here. You are locked, but not for long. Boop, 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 and boom. Open your gets. Got my loot and, uh, loot and goggles on. So what have you got for me? I was talking so much shit about you, Sarah, and you've given me shotgun rounds, ammo, $13,000 redos. Sarah, I, uh, listen, everything you heard me say about you, I was lying. It was just a joke. I promise I wasn't being serious at all. Well, they're saying it was just a joke is never a cop out when you're being a dick like I was. Sometimes it's going to cop up and be like, you know what? I misspoke. I am overest. I underestimated you even. I apologize. Sarah, what a fucking champion. Back to the 240 we go. Jump in the driver's seat and carry on our adventure. Back out to any sort of path where going to break my car anymore. We'll go see Jen. See what she's got for us. And I did actually... She actually has the thing I want to buy. What was the thing in a secret stash I wanted to buy? I have immediately forgotten. But it was, a, it was a mining book, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. I'll buy that. But more importantly, I did also get a level up doing all of that. This one. Probably get on the anchors, please. I just going to roll into a ravine by accident. Uh, this one. Skill point to spend. Can I get the next level better barter? No, because I need that to be level 5. And with my goggles on, I'll be level 4. Four, I'll be level three. So I need one, two, three. I need three more skill points to get to this level. Maybe two. I'm not sure. Not sure. Either way, can't get it right now. This road's gonna drop me off basically right next to the avenue down to Jen's, but it also gonna take me right past the uh, the cheeky vendors. So I just like pull up out the front here. G'day, g'day, everyone. Got the fugly famous ready to cause some dramas if you really push me. 
Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. You pushed me. You pushed me. It was out of my hands. I had no further choices. Murder you. I mean, look, I'm just here to get my levels up on my uh, on my famous, if you wouldn't mind. So I think you give me some target practice. You too. Love your work. Happy days. Nice and safe. I talk so much shit about the famous over the trip, but you know what? I've always lent on it when I needed to. And so far, it's done pretty well. How far away am I from the next level up on you? A fair way. Don't get too excited. What's in you? Nothing to get excited about either. All right, that was all a letdown. Oh, Jenny girl, I am back again. Another stranger in need. Oh. I've got what you're looking for. Now I'm a stranger? Oh, listen, you are you are incredible. You're incredibly creative at finding new ways to rub so much more salt into my misery. Uh, I've got all this extra governments I don't need. I'll chuck them into the car and grab all my sellables instead. Open you. Just hang on. I'm here to go shopping, not to have company. If I want a company, I've invited you. You can't just jump in my gray convertible and say, get in, loser, we're going shopping. Not in the mood for that. You'll have to forgive me, Jen. I'm moving we as fast as I bloody can. The they better be the best prices because I'm about to gargle up a whole bunch of stuff to make you like me even more. <gasps> That's one thing I need to remember, actually, come to think of it. Pumpkin cheesecake. I haven't learned you yet, but I need to research you if I find some. Because that gives me, not for selling, so it's okay for now, but that gives me like 15%, I think it is, for buying. So buying up a chop with you is going to be way better. Oil extractor. People, oh, I need an auger for you? Fuck that. Uh, people were telling me about this stuff, that like apparently there's oil and ore extractors, but they're not particularly good. So I haven't really given it much thought. Water pump as well. Another auger. Well, I never actually got the schematic for an auger, so no, thank you. Uh, but in the meantime, go here. Quickly gargle up some mints. Make my breath lemony fresh. Awesome sauce goes in last. So I'll drink the learning elixir for now. And then I think I'm pretty much good. Is that everything? XP gogs. 44 out. Cigar in. Both are uh, consumables in. All three consumables in, actually. There's a derpo coming in. I'll get there in a second. I just need to sell all of this. For lots of cash. Lots of cash. Make me money, please, Jen. I've come here with a purpose. I'm not leaving till it's done. I almost saw my titanium pickaxe and I panicked, but no, it's right. Because look, that does 94 and you do 89. So I mean, the pickaxe is for block damage. Uh, so you could definitely get sold. Hurts me a bit, but you're worth a pretty penny. In you all go. All of this stuff too. How much have I actually made now? I've got $31,000 reduce on me. We're still making money hand over fist. You're worth a thousand. Things just aren't as uh, lucrative as they once were, which Thanks is a bit of a shame. Business. No whackers, knackers. I'll be right back, done. though. I just want to have a quick little gander and see if I can see. No, I can't see. Can I get over here, maybe? I just want to be able to see where the derpo came down. <gasps> there it is. There it is. A long way that way. Almost like back out in the pine forest, then. Right. I'm kind of going that way. So I'm here. We're going to go marker. Uh, what am I? Up to? Four, five. This could be six. Six can go there, and I'm facing basically exactly southwest, which is what? Over here? Jeez, that's a long way to go. That's a long way to go. I'll probably never actually go out and get it, but it's good to mark it anyway. You're about 1.1, so it's going to be about here, I think. Save that one. Six. Yeah, close enough. Sorry, Jenny. I got distracted by things fluttering out of the sky, falling down to the earth like I assume you did, you angel. Oh, that's the grossest line I've ever said. We're going to move on from that very quickly. Still got all of my perks rolling for me. Uh, 9 millimeters have 20 more range when using a scope. I don't really use any 9 millimeters, but always good to know. It's a book after all, and you're relatively cheap, and I've got Dosh. I don't want to spend money on things that aren't necessary, but books are always necessary. You have a lot of coal powder, actually. So it's only 200 bucks. So, oh, ooh, I'll take that. <laughs> you're so expensive. 10 grand, though, for 400 concrete. Uh, which, I mean, that's a better purchase than this one by a margin. But that was enough to make, what, like 90 blocks, I think it was? I'm trying to make money. You want to spend 10 grand? I really bloody don't. All this stuff is stuff I've already sold you, so that's all fine. What is in your secret stash? I need one of you. And not much else, I don't think. You're very cheap. I'll take those with me. But everything else here can kind of get lost by the wayside. Now that was a good deal. Definitely for you, less so for me. But thank you for lots of the dollary dues. I need so much more than that, though. Like 10 times more. All this faffing around this morning has left me with what? And it's 1 p.m. already. Half the day is gone. 
Oh, man. It gets away from you so quickly. Just park it up like that, please. That'll do. I bonked my bum for a little bit, and I'm very understanding spaghetti about it. There's nothing left in you, is there? I think there are some things left in you. I'll take those. Oh, Jesus. Holy God. Nets. Oh, sure. That gave me... That gave me a bit of a fright, if I'm being honest. Okay, up we go. Pretend like that didn't just happen to me and put it behind us. You've got some more ammo for me. Thank you. And start chucking away the things that I need to. That none of you have a home? How do none of you have a home? All right, just triple checking everything. I've got extra rounds for the 556 because the family's is going to get used a lot. Got shotgun rounds, sniper rounds, got crossbow bolts. and my crossbow and my weapons and things as well. I think about as good to go now as I'm ever going to be. Leave all that behind. You should have my essentials. Except I did just see... No, I could guess more at the uh, waste. I remember saying that last time. All right, I think we're good to go. No more second guessing it. Out we go. Down to there, into the van. Do I need to take some spare fuel? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If you even thought about it, Josh, you definitely should. Do I get all the way out there and get stranded with no way home? Just one extra jerry can makes a world of difference. Before I go, one last thought I had that will come in handy, given my, uh, my recent form hasn't been particularly fantastic, is a bedroll. Craft one of you. I have one at home. I could pick it up and take it with me. I'd rather have this as a basic spawn point in case things go really badly. But take a new one to chuck down where I need to go. So if I do cark it like the Muppet that I am, at least I'll have some way to respawn and get on my ship back without too much of a problem. That's all done. Got what I needed. So straight out the side. Over we go. Oh, land on the hay bales. Back in the van. And off we go on to a new adventure. Goodbye, home. I hope I see you again. In one piece, I'll just spawn back inside you because I've been just torn to shreds somewhere out there. Like Dil Moran and Shaun of the Dead. Oh, please. Please find Bob's Balls quick because the day's gotten away from me. I don't really have time for faffing about. As I often do while I'm driving off through the distance, this is the time I use to kind of like consider my options and try and plan ahead. Obviously not great at planning ahead, but at least I put in the effort to attempt it. Otherwise, who knows how bad I'd actually be. But thinking about how much stuff I just sold and the level of stuff I just sold to trade you, for what? For... For not much, if we're being honest. I, I, I had like 30 grand out of that. If that was vanilla, with my box of mods I've got there as well, I would have made, made like 100 grand out of that. There was a lot of tier A's. There was a tier S. Like, that's some high tier gubbins. I just didn't really get anything for it. I'm, there's got to be a better way to make bulk cash. I'm very tempted to mine just a shitload of titanium and sell ingots because like the 100 that I have uh, was like 16 grand. Yeah, I know titanium is valuable, but valuable to trade it as well. If I just need to make like lots of money very quickly, that's probably the way to do it. Speaking of things that I should be doing better, have I gone the wrong way? I did so. I did so. You know what? You know what? No, this was deliberate. This was planned. I'll go to the wasteland, then chuck a Rui, and go in that way. Because then this, I know that I can see the town in front of me going from the southern way. That was just a guesstimation a long time ago. Could be very wrong. That's the excuse I'm using. There's the orange van, the way into the wasteland that I know and trust. But instead of turning left this time, oh, we're going this way, drifting in the van like you don't even care about what you're going to do to it. Ding up the panels and wrap it around a tree. As long as I can still drive relatively straight and carry all my gubbins, then it's still fine with me. There's like a military base out there that I haven't noticed before. Oh, shit, that's a car. No, Josh, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. You're a man on a mission for once in your life. Please stick with it. I need to find Bob's because it's already freaking, what, 4 o'clock in the afternoon? If you're out here at 8 a.m., sure, I'd give you a bit of leeway. But you're faffed about and wasted half a clock. Time to actually do what you need to do. Made it out of the way, so with very little problems. Maybe I misremembered, though, because I'm not seeing anything that looks like a town out here. I thought there was one, like, just outside the wasteland that I, I came across last time, but... I guess not try to run over the chook and continue on. Yeah, you know, I guess not. Okay, well, well, that's another car. <laughs> try and pay attention to the road, please. Stop turning your head around like a top on a bun. Oh, there's a town on the way out there, though. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're all good. Please be a Bobby Balls here, then. If I can punch that nice and quickly, moment to stay the night there, that would be okay. But and it's getting late, and I have no digs. I can't spend the night in my van. I can see the shadow of Dishong right there. So at least I know it's a big town. That's always a good sign. Uh, which side do you reckon the trader loop's going to be on? I've gone through a wider section. It's headed towards the biggest thing I can see in the distance. 
who knows if that was a right decision or not, because we'll find out eventually. But look, but look, buildings, things, places, stuff that I need. I'm gonna stick to the outskirts though, because Bobby's won't be in the middle of the town. It's a farm after all. Uh, gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it quick. What is, what is this icon? Hold on, it's, oh, it's a trader? Okay, I was just kind of cruising through. Oh, I don't have time to see the trader though. What trader is it? I don't really know. You, please go away. Use the famous because I do need the extra points. This isn't what, this isn't somewhere I'm used to being. Uh, Luton Gog's on. Let's see what's about. Some adhesive. Uh, okay. Oh, it's you. Hey, buddy. The dead. Good to see you, bud. I mean, oh, we've got an August schematic. <laughs> I did turn down one of those once, but it's time everyone got very upset with me. But I'm going to turn it down this time too, because what do I need another auger for? Oh my god. I've already got my uh, my Valky, but I'm not into clubs. I'm not into clubs anymore. I've got my steel katana, so I'm not going to betray it now. Couple of books. Ooh, another urban combat book. How far away am I from getting the like the max level? Holy fucking ball sacks. Are you shitting me? It's a fucking quad rocket launcher. I've been thoroughly distracted. How far away from my uh, urban combat book series finished? But like, I want you. I want you in my hand so I can snuggle you at night. Jen be damned. This is sick. All right, look, I'm not going to turn it down again. XP gogs on, sugar butts in, and 44 in my hot little hands. And I suppose if I'm buying the urban combat book, I suppose I'll buy the auger book as well, just to placate everyone so no one yells at me anymore. Well, that's, that's very lofty goals. People are still going to yell at me. I'll buy you 900 bucks. Nothing else I need. No, nah, we're all gravy. And I will buy you just to appease the people. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't murder me again. Uh, that's about all I need out of there. Yep, we're all good. Cheese knackers. I'll chuck it back down to there. I'll see if I can buy myself, hopefully, my sugar butts back, my eye candy back. I don't need the rest of you, though. That's all fine. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Happy bloody days. What else you got in your compound? I came here to try and find Bob's balls and found Hughes instead. Oh, man. Could I have just... No, I couldn't have. Okay, good. I thought for a second I made myself a new bedroll for no reason, but that turns out it's still fine. Ooh, there's your ammo box. That's what I was looking for. The compound's all different than what I'm used to, so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Laser sight and some ammo. Don't think I have any spots for any laser sight, so you can just go into that one for now, I suppose. It's the only free spot I got left. Nah, that's all good. That's all good. There'll be more about the place, though. Not quite where it used to be, but somewhere else, I'm sure. What else you got for me, Huey? Oh, I left the door open. Ooh, and you got a friend as well. I forgot you had friends. Old mate, what's his face? I didn't even bother looking at his name. I was too busy being in a rush. Has a couple things to sell. We're nothing really going to be excited, though. Secret stash. You're offering me a stinger. Holy shit, there's the land of rocket launchers out here, apparently. A June one, a frame. Uh, no books I want to particularly buy for myself, though. No, so I think we're take fine there. I will. In fact, speaking of taking care, didn't I see some clown out there I can take care of as well? I thought I did. Nah, is this bloody up and disappeared. Oh! I was gonna say, how the shit did you get in? I'm sending this to a gaping open door. That's probably how. Yeah, that's fine, DD. That's all good and gravy. Let me raid the rest of this place before we move on. Need to find the rest of the ammo racks. I like these little murder holes. Can I fall through them? No, I can't. That's a that's a really good idea. Normally, traders, like when there's something at the walls, you can't do dick about it. But now, someone's thought of that and. You can actually defend yourself now. There's little murder holes. That's so good. I actually really like that. Oh, it's here. A hey, retracting stock. How the fucking hell are you doing? Can I whip it in here, please? It's going to be better than half of this shit. Definitely better than a bipod. In you go. Cheers, because You're giving me handling plus 17.5%. And you're giving me increased accuracy. Oh, uh, maybe instead of this one then? I'm not sure. No, I think that's probably still the right one. Okay, got a better handling, though, out of my new stock. Where else? Where else is the last of the uh, the ammo crates, though? It's got to be here somewhere. Where are you hiding it? Check the helipad. Nothing to be seen, which means I can also check, like, out all the roof and stuff to see if there's one just kind of randomly stuck up in the rafters, but nothing up here either. Where would it be? Where would it be? Where would the last one be? Mm, I would have thought I'd probably like in the top of his compound or something. Oh, some acid. Thank you very much. We know how valuable that is now. Uh, nothing in you. Where is it? Where is it, Huey? I see you've got sick of people racking your shit. Oh, actually, hang on. It's Q. 
It's Huey, which means, I mean, there's probably a Lewis right here somewhere, but more importantly, in fact, are you called Lewis? Yes. Missed opportunity. What's down here? Down at the bottom of the well, we know there's good things down here some of the time. Although apparently it's just used deep and dark secrets trying to hide the bodies. There's your vault. There it is. There it is. What have you got for me? Nothing fun, but I'm happy to have found you at the very least. Oh. Uh, okay. In this, his little hatch is unlocked. Unlucky, Jeff. You may put up the bars, but I'm way too snoopy for either of our goods. And now I just found a way into your good shit at the back. Time charge on you. Crack it open. Right goggles on. And... Ooh, it's the S stun button. The only time I've ever kind of not vomited in my mouth and had to swallow it again. Because you are the S and worth a grand. Digging into his book. I'll take you. Um, although... How do I... There was no ladder in the well. So how do I get out of here? You lured me in with a promise of loot. How do I escape? What's the... What's what's the way out, here? Or am I just going to have to, like, snuggle up with the bodies down here for warmth? Uh, can I climb ropes? What? What? I can climb ropes in this game? Been playing it for 58 days and I just discovered that? I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm shocked. I don't know what to do with myself. Like, I've got Ricky Bobby. What do I do with my hands? Apparently, I can climb fucking ropes. What the shit? Well, we've wasted even more of our time, but it is what it is, I suppose. Jump back in the van. Now the weather is good. I can kind of see where the dick I'm supposed to be going. That is, that has rocked my world. That has rocked my world and my jocks and everything in between. I had no idea you could climb ropes. That's open up so many more possibilities for like horde bases and stuff. Can like, can zombies climb ropes or can only I climb ropes? I'm not sure. Heading into the city though, trying to think about that tomorrow. I'll leave that passing gas for future, Josh, because I'm looking for bobbies. Come all this way, surely it's out here somewhere. Oh, and there's a crack book right there too. I need to come and raid all of this. This is so valuable stuff. The hospital now has like a military ward out the front of it. Probably makes sense given the world was ending. They might try and protect a hospital or your health infrastructure. That's kind of cool. Can I... No, I can't slip through any of the railings over here. So we'll do a cheeky three banger and head back the other way. It was the worst three point turn of my life. If I did that when I opened the cereal box, I wouldn't have got my license. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, fucking come on, drifty van. This this van drifts more than the 240 though. I didn't even touch the bloody handbrake. Oh my God, look. It's the Mega City apartment. And in fact, it's actually laid out almost exactly like Mega City in that it's got Dishong just across the way. That could be actually a pretty good spot for me to like put down some mistakes and try and figure out where Bob Balls is going to be. Like it's too late in the day now to really just go driving in circles. That's just a smart option. Get some elevation to try and figure it out and then take it from there. Plus, I've got all the things I found. Oh, hey, buddy. All the things I found at Hughes I need to deal with. I maybe should have brought some storage, but too late for that now. Make sure you're good and dead and your little slithery friend as well. Who the frick are you, Voldemort? Got a pet snake, apparently. Stop it. They're gurgling from everywhere. Did he get out of the... Oh, God, I saw the shadow and didn't see you. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Get out of here, flops. Just gonna park my car here. I did just see as well, there's some concrete pallets around here as well. And after all, that is like the overarching goal of this. So you're like, yeah, getting a chopper is important, but so is having the means to make myself a horde base in the way. So when I eventually get them, nothing in you, some dollar redos, and uh, nothing in you. Okay, well, real quick then, I'm gonna punch up this tower, make my own so I can kind of get some overwatch and see what is around in this place. I know I was only living in this place not too long ago, but but I know it's a good base. It's a sturdy base. It'll serve me well. Come on, Deeds. Let's clear the joint. Got a cooking pot. Lovely doubly. Means if I make myself a campfire out here, at least I can cook myself up some things. Was that just you, Deedy, making a ruckus back here? You get me all sorts of paranoid. Come on. Cut, yeah, there you go. Just chuck a bobby pin in the lock and jiggle it all about like your Betty Bloody Draper. You, what have you got for me? Ooh. Automatic farmer has an increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. That's going to come in very handy for whatever horde base I build in the wasteland. I have some plans. They're not good plans, but I have plans all the same. Hopefully, I can make it actually work out in the end. Nothing in you. Check the fridge for any little snacks. That's a fucking hearty snack. Thank you very much. Look at this place. I lived in it once. I come back and it's taking care of me again. It's like an old friend that lets me inside it. It's the best kind of friend. I know I should probably try to push up to the top, but I'm trying to grab all the computers I can on the way through to make sure I'm leaving nothing behind. 
We've grabbed everything out of here. We're all good. My frame rate is a little bit ass, which means there's probably lots of zombies downstairs. Lucky I don't have a very loud machine gun with no suppressor or anything, because that would be a really bad idea. Open up you, lockpick and now level 20. Do I get do I get a perk out of that? Lockpick and 20. Yes, I do. Lockpicks and bobby pins have 20% more durability. Fucking rigid did, cop. Thank you very much. My time has just fallen, but there's no excuse. I have to keep on pushing. Oh, we are not alone. Yeah, 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 I figured as much more behind the desk. Oh, there's one on that side of the desk, though. Quickly rinse you. Who else is here? Oh, I saw some movement through the door, I think. Are you dead? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. No, I'm gonna aiming down the side. It just slows me down. I've got the laser sight that I've now just turned on on the front for good reason. Anyone else around here? Stick to the wall so no one sneaks up on me. That nah, raw gravy there. Deez, just let me know if someone comes up, please. You need to tell me each time someone gets mad at me. Not just mad in general. You're dead. I think it's just you as well. I'm trying to gauge how many zombies I have to kill by how many moans and groans I hear. I'm not used to hearing moaning, so it stands out really well. We're making pretty good time, and I actually have the advantage now that I did leave here a long time ago that I know that I can just kind of block off most of the ways that zombies can get to me. If I can take down that one as well, can you reach? Only just. So if that ramp's gone, I don't think they have a way above that floor because the stairwell's gone. And once upon a time, this is where I made... Oh, get it, bud. This is where I, like, made my horde base. See, look, he's turned around. He's got nowhere to go. He can't do anything. He can't get up to me. So I'm now safe from the clouds down on the ground level. That's always the first port of call whenever you go into somewhere tall. No one here. That's just DD breaking the roof. That's fine. Ceiling tiles don't mean diddly squat to me. Take that one. Taking all the PCs and stuff with me too. I'm going to need all the SD cards I can get at some point. May as well take them with me now. It's actually wild being back here. Like, this is what it was before I built all of my wonderful, like, side of the skyscraper horde base. Remember that? Like, this is the entryway to where I used to fight. Doesn't feel like... Ooh. So it doesn't feel like so long ago. My headphones just turned off. It's fine. I got a spare battery. But not long ago, I was out here staring upon dish on every morning and every night. It's kind of nice being back again. Just the last few... Oh, last few levels. That was a big lag spike, which means... Son of a bitch. Okay, grab you real quick. I may as well just like, set my spawn point here now that I have a spare bedroll, apparently. God damn it. God damn it. You, you gotta be the purple one for good luck. And just like anywhere. Yeah, that'll do. I'll come and get you again if I need you in a second. Couple of extra uh, shotgun rounds. Pick up the barrel for lighting too. See, look, see what I mean? For once in my life, I try and be prepared. I'm like, I'm gonna think ahead and actually do this properly. Then when I get out here... Oh, God. Yeah, nah, there's already a bloody bedroll for me. I could have used to start with. I just wasted all my time. And here it is. The actual old digs where I spent all of my time back in Megacy before I moved off down to the desert. Ah, fond memories. Fond memories had by all. Get up to the roof, though, and make short work of, like, the soldier. And I think... I think there's not much up here, but there is a soldier up here... Uh, who's guarding some decent loot and a cheeky campfire for me. That is a white. Uh, no, I need to spec up my, uh, my assault rifle, so... Like that. Like that. And like that. We're all good. We're all done. I have plenty of rounds. I just need the XP. And look at that. See, coming up here for a view of my surroundings was a good decision. Good by me. Pat, pat, pat. Love your work, DD. Make sure I grab that campfire as well. I can't grab the campfire. I mean, I suppose I could just use the campfire. Like, there's no reason for me to take it one story down. If I need it, I can just come up and get it, I suppose. So chuck you into them. I have some. I have one egg. I have one egg on me, but I can get eggs and meat all willy-nilly if I need to. That's not so much of a problem. Uh, you're all empty. I'll grab that Kong before I leave as well. Last but not least, though, the bag on the roof with... Ah! 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 A fucking tier B sniper rifle and a three star, three star S tier paddock gloves. Like you, you're not worth much at all, but a three star is always exciting. I don't, I don't want to though. I don't want to, but there's no way you're not better than the M14. Well, you're, do, you're doing 114 plus 11 for mods. You've got three mod slots. You've got four mod slots and 133. You're so much better. I don't want to abandon my M40, but how could I not look at this shit in a fucking backpack? 
Holy God! Well, I suppose then. Look, I've got storage here. It's not much, but it's some. I've got my campfire here. There's no use me living on the floor below if there's not actually a reason for it. So I'll chuck my bedroll down like that. So I have plenty of extras, actually. There's apparently this place is lousy with bedrolls. So all this stuff, I need to figure out what I want to take, what I don't want to take. But more importantly, look, I don't want to say goodbye to your M14, but you've been usurped. You really have. I'd love to upgrade you and make you better than that again. I'm not going to get rid of you. I'll hold on to you, but... Look, I gotta use what's best for me to try and survive as best I can. But the last thing you can do for me before we do wrap this up is have a little scout around using your sweet ass scope to see if we can see your bobby balls out there somewhere. There's gotta be something for me. Potentially? Ooh, ma no, 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 that's not that's not what it looks like at all. Okay, that's fine. Gotta I think that's a um what you got? Shotgun Messiah. That's the wood yard. Oh, jeez, that's the light from DD. You're blinding me, Dee. My retinas are seared like tuna steaks. I might have to spend a little bit more time just kind of scouting because so far I haven't seen much. That there has some potential. It's kind of hard to know. It's hidden behind all the other buildings. Turns out I got high, but not high enough. But that there has some potential to be a Bobby Boys. It looks like that same green paddling it's built out of, but that's not really much to go on. <laughs> I like that I'm higher than the town hall. I can see the loot room. I've lived in town halls before because once again, it's nice high up off the ground and relatively easy to get to. Someone died out there once upon a time. I'll get out there tomorrow. Oh, I just hope there's one out here. I really bloody look. If I come all this way and there's no Bobby Boars, I'm a little bit shit out of luck. I just have to go to the wasteland empty handed, which is going to suck. All right, M14, you modify you. You're not going anywhere. Don't worry. I'll take all of you out of that one and chuck the mods into this. And you go. That one. That one. You could be dyed purple as well, which I mean, isn't the be all and end all, but it's not dissuading me from using you either. Nice. Done. So how much are you doing now? 133 plus, so 150 per pop. That is insanity. Plus, you'll look bloody sick. Not as sexy as the M14, but good enough, I suppose. Is there someone around here I can shoot to test it out, or is everyone just kind of hiding from sight? Now they know what I've got. There's one. There's one. Crouch down. Crouch down and murder. Oh, it's good. Well, in that case, what I might do, I'll grab you, because I've got to spend at least one more day in this town. I'm not going to reach you just yet. Uh, Give me all of this stuff. I'll take that one. I'll take... You can hold on to that one, and I'll take these ones. I'm going to chuck that maintenance station down. I'm pretty cute, but that's fine. And just get myself kind of sorted out. Oh, someone's gurgling at me. Get myself sorted out up on the tippy top of this area. Can I grab you? Take you and just chuck you back down again so I can turn on the Waikai. Like that. Waikai on and put my repairable materials straight into you. So if I need to repair like my Famas, for example, I have the gubs to do so. Like that. Uh, you can both get repaired, actually. You repaired. You repaired. Happy as. But with that, guys, I am going to have to leave this episode here, I think, and come back and continue to try and find where I might find myself Bobby Balls. Put in some fluids. So I'm getting a bit thirsty. Just like so I'm going to sit up here and going to snipe a whole bunch of Muppets, get my sniper skill going up even further just because I bloody can. Like that one right through your chest drops you this time there was another loot bag out there like the m14 would hit him in the head and kill him but a chest shot wouldn't kill him in one now with this even hit him in the bloody patella probably still gonna drop him forever so pretty happy to find an upgrade just randomly in the apartment building see old friends old friends always looking out for you but i'll have to come back having sniped half the population and continue to try and find my super corn and get some more cement as well that's always super important in the next episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. <laughs>